Right, here we go. Second race of the weekend here in the Classic Lotus Series here at Road America. 21 laps. Car number 15 starting from P19 on the grid. The Spear starting behind me on the grid. We've got the Plumley. Uh, Plumley's in this one. He's qualified in P12. Right, let's see how we go. Got enough fuel to finish the Two race. <clears throat> Take it relatively easy if I can at the start. Watch out for any shenanigans. I'm not sure whether I prefer to be on the left hand side or not. But uh, yes, here we go. Oh, that's Javier. Time to go. Not sure we are now. A little bit of shenanigans. Oh, what's he doing? What's that guy up to? Was all over the place. I think we've uh, survived any damage. But Right, let's see if we can catch the guys ahead now.
Okay. I'm trying, Jim, I'm trying. Eric Skidmore, three seconds ahead. Alright, come on skid more. Well, go well. We need to keep it going, though. Not a great last turn there, unfortunately. The last corner was a bit, a little bit rubbish. Otherwise, it would have been an even better time. It would have been 53. Slightly gaining on the three in front, very similar times.
Okay, got 53 on the board. Well, that was a thing. Let's see if we can catch Plumley. Doubt it, he's probably got a little bit too much for us. A bit quick for us, probably. 5.4, he's got to weigh quite a lot, hasn't he? held up a bit with those guys.
That's a shame. Not sure what happened there. I got too much on the curb, I think. Whew. Okay. No damage done, really. Get on that curb at too much. Come on, come on. Nice and smooth now. Maybe I was pushing too hard. Where's Spear? Back in 18th. That's a shame. Don't mind. Hopefully we'll make that our only, our only mistake. Just got on that curb too much and gave it too much. Eight seconds to Ricardo and Barry's 9.6. Let's see what we can do. What happened? I think I just got too much acceleration here, off onto that curb, unsettled the car, just couldn't save it. Fish tailing a little bit, a bit of a tank slapper as they call it. Okay. Barry. Thanks, Harry. Barry maybe has some damage. He seems a. Uh, third gear, come on. He seems. A little bit slower than it normally is, by the look of it. <coughs> See if we can get smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. A little bit apprehensive now, all of a sudden. Don't know why, I've got no damage. Strange, isn't it? One uh, little off, and it's. Uh, Spear still in P18, yep. Behind Javier. I think he might be catching Javier. Right, let's see if I can try and catch Barry. Oh, struggling with the downshift a little bit now. Turn one. seem quite the car it was. No damage, but I don't know if it's me or the car. It quite feel the same.
managing to get, I can't believe I was getting 50, low 54s and then I think even, even a 53 snuck in I think. It's crazy really. Come on, Ben. I've got to be careful now. That's crazy. Come on. Just got to be careful. Smooth and careful. Javier has overtaken Uwe, Spear's behind Uwe, so maybe Spear can get past Uwe, I think he's, I think he's quicker than Uwe, so Uwe looks like he's got some pace though, so it looks like he's been getting better, more on pace than previously. Is good. Thanks for the follow, Paxton. Shocked to get a follow when I'm not streaming. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get back in the Thank you. low 54s or something like that. Let's try and get on that curb. Back in the, the nice rhythm. Uwe is. I think Spears catching Uwe for uh, 17th. So we'll have to see if he can get him before the end of the race. We've got another um, eight laps to go, I think, this time round. <coughs> so beating my car number, that's good. Three five. Okay. That's what I get for being smoother, I guess, and settling the car down a bit.
go, go. I don't know how these guys go, I don't know, three three seconds quicker than I can, or more or something. Wait, I mean, where are they making all the time up? Is it a little bit everywhere? Amazing to... It's probably that, actually. It'd be nice to have, like, a... A little uh, map of and the transpose their uh, input speeds and maybe even car position on the track. Beat my car number though by one. That's the uh, something. Normally I do try and uh, get halfway up the uh, halfway up the uh, standing so I can, but I'm not sure I'm going to do that today. There has not been that much in the way of um, attrition, to be honest. There's been a few issues, but um, no one's sort of gone out. I mean, not have gone out. They've all continued, really. Well, did, did they just say the leader's hitting? Wasn't my imagination. Interesting. So, um, maybe someone's towing, I think, in the pits, maybe. So back mark on, yeah. Oh, Luca. Luca, I think Luca was leading, wasn't he? Now, uh, Ante's back in the Ante's in the lead. So that's uh, P13. Oh, that's feels a lot better, you know. It's in one place, but that feels that uh, that feels better. That seems a bit better anyway. Still in the. I still have to get P11, I think it is, to be halfway up the standings. I have 10 in front and 10 behind, I think, but a uh, couple behind that at the moment. Still over five laps to go. Careful with that curb, can spin on it. A few curbs where you don't hit them quite right, they can throw you a little bit. Who is? Was he in front of me? Oh, that was the guy in 11. Ricardo. Had another moment. That's another, another position up. So that's, uh, I think that's going to be P12 for us. I'm not doing the very good job in that last corner. I'll put Eric off. Eric was probably watching me if enough behind there. Yeah, it's going well, Jim. Although, messing up that last corner a bit too much, I think. 
you know, Lucas called it. So, um, Kevin and Daniel battling for the top 10 there, I think. Oh, Mark Crookshanks had an, in an incident. Don't think it looks like it's, it's a major issue at this stage. Losing a little bit of ground, but he seems to be gaining, getting back up to speed. So things are happening a little bit there. Javier is catching Keith behind. Spears pretty close behind Uwe. I wonder if he'll go for a move on the straight this time or next time round if he's close enough. But that puts Spear up to position to 16th. So we're beyond the realms of possibly even not losing eye rating and maybe even possibly close to gaining which is good considering after that uh, spin I had and trouble get going and trouble to get going and a few little half spins or, or almost spins happy where we are at the minute even happy if I didn't make that mistake on the curb. <laughs> Wonder where I would have been. Or maybe I would have been ahead of Daniel, Mark and Barry. But, you know, you can say if, 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 can't you, really? You can say if, 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 but... Oops. First. Didn't really want first gear, though. Yeah, see, Mark seems to be on pace, maybe slightly slower than he was, maybe, I don't know. He's not losing much time. I don't think he hit anything too solid by the look of it. So, providing there's no more slip-ups anywhere from anyone else or myself, looks like uh, I'm going to bring this home in P12. three laps to go at the end of this one. Things can happen, of course. Ah, Keith's had an issue behind. He's lost some places. So, uh, not only Hov not only Javier got past him um, previously, but now Uwe and Spear have been pa have passed uh, Keith, so he must have had a spin or something. Okay, so we can see the relative now. Clearly that Spear is pretty close behind Uwe, tracking his every move. Maybe waiting to pounce, maybe. Mark Cruikshank, pitting. Mark Cruikshank is pitting. Is that fuel or is that damage? Either way, it looks like we're going to get P11. My goodness. It's coming alive. Coming out. No, I think he's still in the pits. So. Wow. Is that going to be a, uh, a freebie for um, for Spear? It's ten seconds. He's still in the pits now. <coughs> yep, looks like Mark's in the pits still. So, Javier is going to pick up uh, P12. Uve 13 and Spear 14. Whoops. Easy with that. Uh, went down one extra gear, some by mistake, and also locked up the uh, the brakes a little bit there. It's a bit untidy, Ben. Yeah, Spear's getting closer and closer to Uve. Got to be sensible now and bring this home. P11 is a good result. Halfway up the grid. In this sort of SOF, this sort of series is it's pretty good. That's where I try and aim for if I can. It doesn't isn't always possible. Without my incidents, I mean, you know, you could anyone on the grid have had 
that have had incidents which have, quite a few of them had something or other, some issue or another, big or small. You can always say if, 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 but I may have been battling for, with uh, Daniel and, I mean, wherever Plumlee is, I, would have, I was behind him. I wasn't, I don't think I was gaining on Mr. Plumley, but I was actually virtually lapping similar. And my goodness, he's in front of Miguel, he's in P6 at the moment. Amazing. I'll definitely, uh, whether it's the car slightly off tyres or whether it's myself just after that moment in the curb, it's, you know, not quite as I, as I was. A bit apprehensive, maybe, on the throttle. Or or a combination of things, but not as quick as we once were. Yeah, we're going to keep an eye on that battle for 13th place between Uve and Spear. Didn't get all the way down to second there. Spear is right on Uve's tail. You can see it while you... I mean, I can't keep an eye on it as much as you can, but guys can check on the relative there to see if Spear, how close he is to Uve, but he's literally half a second, maybe less, so maybe on a straight he can make a manoeuvre. Having a good race back there. So we're going to come round the... Uh, start finish straight with uh, one to go this time around. Someone saying hello. Not sure who to. But uh, yeah, just one place short of a top ten, but it's going to be P11 unless there's any white flag fever coming up. Keep checking that relative just to see because Spear is literally very close. Oh, okay. Daniel. So Daniel's hat, there has been some sort of incident on the, on the penultimate or last lap. And I'm in the top 10. My goodness. That's crazy. Never thought I'd quite get to the top 10 when I started this race. I mean, at one point I was, I was there, I think, or virtually there. I was behind Mr. Plumley, but... Uh, Fell back a little bit. Yeah, really happy with top ten. Just need to make it round the last part of this lap. Spear hasn't quite got over yet. Oh, he's lost, dropped a bit. I think he maybe tried a manoeuvre and lost some time. Because he's, he's some five seconds back on Uve at the moment. But he's still got a P13. If he could just... Stay where he is. No incidents. Got Mark Crookshank about 10 seconds behind him, I thought. Well, oh, so there we go. I'm pretty happy with this, all, all, being, uh, all going well. I mean, as I say, I was behind Mr. Plumley. Um, judging his pace, he may have edged away a little bit towards the end. I may have been maybe finishing 10 or 12, maybe even 15 seconds behind Mr. Plumley, if I wouldn't have had that incident. So, yeah. So, I don't know how much further I would have made it up the grid, but uh, that's a good top 10 finish there. Happy with that. Happy with that. Thanks, Jim. Ah, uh, I wasn't happy with the uh, a few at a few moments. The 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 big moment was obviously hit getting on that curb and beyond that curb. Um, so that was a bad moment, really. Lost a lot of time there. Um, I was. I don't. I can't say. I definitely wasn't catching catching Mr. Plumley, but I was pretty much holding him. I think. 
but I felt as though his pace might have got better as the grace went in, so he may have pulled away a bit, but still. Yeah, happy with that. Um, just waiting to see if I can see the spear. Yeah, the spear's come home in P13. But um, he stopped. He stopped it. Oh, there you go. So Too shabby, not too shabby. Um, I say that that moment on the uh, on the curb cost me. Just have a quick look at it now. Just cost me um, cost me 13 seconds. So it went wide there. Ah, uh, yeah, on the dirt, on the dirt. Didn't, couldn't quite hold it. And then uh, to wait for a few guys to pass. Box for the neutrals anyway, I think, actually. Yeah, I think that was more of the issue. <laughs> I was still waiting for them anyway. But it uh, cost me 13 seconds there, so. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's check the, uh, check the results. Results, I think, are in. And here they are. So we gained 28 I rating for that, up to 1946 in the Open Wheeler IR, of course. We've now got the Open Wheeler IR. So, um, yeah, that was uh, a thing <laughs> because before we didn't have, um, we had one well, separate now, haven't we? So the, uh, I can't exactly remember what my, uh, the, uh, I think, I think it's slight, I think it's, I think it's just under 2K, I think, the, um, the normal IR. Um, and lost 22 safety because I was messing about there with seven incident points. Terrible, really. But uh, yes, didn't quite go to plan. But uh, yeah, a few spins and half spins. It cost me a little bit of time and, and precious SR, but never mind. I managed to get a 53.5, which I was really pleased by. I don't know how I'm quite managed to get that. I may have been draft, but uh, yeah, happy with that. Uh, Mr. Plumley, yeah, I thought he was going to get quicker as he went along. I don't think he had, the, had enough practice early on. And then what what happens is if he doesn't have enough practice in the race, he just gets faster and faster. So he would have pulled away from me. I think I probably would have been, ended up, um, I don't know, I, Kevin. I was battling with, I was pulling away from Kevin at certain points with my setup, but I don't know, may have been a battle at the end with Kevin. But uh, still really happy with the top 10. Spear got 13th. Uh, he gained I rating as well. Uh, with a plus eight, again plus twenty eight. He's up to sixteen fifty eight now on the open wheeler. So yeah, happy with that. Happy with that indeed. So yeah, move on. Uh, unless we do this again, possibly. Uh, there's a broadcast race tomorrow, uh, but uh, Mugello is next week. So look out for that one. <laughs>